Wow, what a gorgeous weekend. It was really, really nice, pretty much just like today. That meant a lot of people were getting their cars clean, washing away the grime of winter, right? That's right, but a Madison woman says someone decided her car just sitting there getting wiped down was too tempting. News Channel 5's Adam Gassimi explains how it was stolen and why she still isn't getting any answers. It was a nice day out and needed it. Stephanie Birds Butts is a working single mother happened. who decided a break in the weather it's Saturday was a good time to get maintenance done on her car and get it washed. Been going there for 13 years, never had a problem. But when she went to Smith Brothers on Gallatin Pike in Madison, it was packed. So busy she didn't even notice what was happening outside when her car was getting wiped down. After I paid, I went out for my car like I always do and it was gone. But says even after explaining what happened, she didn't get much help from employees. Finally, after calling the police, she was able to see surveillance video and record it on her cell phone. Pay attention to her gray Hyundai Sonata to the right of your screen. You can see a guy wearing a gray hoodie walk up and start wiping it down. He even talks to a car wash employee and gets in the car before an employee talks to him again. It isn't long before he's back behind the wheel and gone. He got in the car, pulled out like any other driver would, and went about his way. Customers have to give attendants tickets to show they paid, but Butts isn't sure how the guy was able to even get near her car without one. So far, she hasn't gotten any answers on how this will be fixed and feels like people at Smith Brothers simply don't care. Just offer no help, no refund. No, well, let me get my insurance information for you. We'll take care of it. Nothing. Employees here at the Madison location tell me the owner is currently out of town, but will be looking into what happened when he returns. They tell me this is not the first time this has happened. In Madison, Adam Gusimi, News Channel 5 HD. Butts filed a report with Metro Police. She hopes the company takes some responsibility for what happened.